The latest USDA state report lists 70 percent of Nebraska's soybeans in good to excellent condition. Cooler temperatures likely helped lessen detrimental effects of a drier July. Most of the eastern two-thirds of Nebraska saw less than four days at or above 95 degrees during the month. While soybean aphid populations have been low so far, UNL Extension entomologist Bob Wright said Thursday they could start increasing. Well, they're just starting to show up now in a lot of parts of eastern Nebraska, so now is the time you really need to start scouting for soybean aphids. I have to imagine this weather is conducive to their development. Right. They, they really don't like extreme hot weather above 95, but if it's in the 80s and low 90s, that's ideal conditions for their reproduction. And, you know, aphids can, re and can multiply re relatively quickly, so it's important to scout uh, at least once a week from now until a maturity to watch for soybean aphids. Uh, just a refresher on what you should be looking for in the thresholds for treatment. Okay, it's really uh, important to look carefully. They're very relatively small aphids. They typically start on the upper part of the plant on new growth. And uh, sometimes you'll see lady beetles or other beneficial insects first before you see the aphids because they're starting to build up or attracted to where the soybean aphids are. But you want to count aphids per plant. And if you have 250 aphids per plant, and there's been an increasing trend of aphids, that's when you want to spray uh, for aphids. Uh, right now, we're, a lot of the soybeans are in the seed fill stage. Once we get to the full seed stage, we can handle more aphids than that. Well, that hasn't been really well, well researched, but we know the threshold is higher after the R6 stage. When you're s sampling for aphids, it's pretty intimidating to try to count all the aphids on a plant and we have some simplified methods that you can use. One of them is called speed scouting where you don't have to count all the aphids on the plant. You, if you have up to 40 aphids per plant you call that infest it and just go on to the next plant and there's a decision guide uh, available online and we also have a, a smartphone app from the University of Nebraska that you enter that data and it can tell you whether you're at a treatment level and you don't have to count every every last aphid on the plant so it's, it's real speed uh, saver and uh, makes it a lot simpler for people to uh, properly sample for soybean aphids. If you're deciding to spray, are there any natural enemies that you don't necessarily want to kill off to the aphid? Well, there's a lot of natural enemies, but uh, if, they're, if they're at 250 and increasing, that means they're not holding them down. One thing to watch for, if you had sprayed an insecticide earlier, maybe in the last month, like in combination with the fungicide, I'd watch those fields first because you may have knocked down the natural enemies from the earlier insecticide spray and aphids may be able to survive better in that condition. What other pests might be out there now, Bob? Well, we're getting reports of bean leaf beetles and uh, the, the next generation is starting to emerge and some people are seeing spider mites in uh, particularly dry land fields or maybe dry pivot corners where there's drought stress. So there, there are a lot of potential insects still to uh, watch for. Anything that's required treatment so far? Uh, not that I've heard of, uh, but you know, things may develop in the future, so continue watching. This has been an interesting growing year. We probably have some fields that are, uh, as you said, along in maturity, but we also have fields that were planted later or replanted later. In those fields, would insects re-emerging be a problem? Yeah, that's something to watch for because uh, those are gonna be attractive as the regular pl time, planting time fields are starting to dry down. Uh, it, a lot of insects can move around and they'll search out the, the later planted uh, beans, which are still nice and green and succulent and good food source to watch for. So you need to continue to watch those fields until maturity, the later planted fields. On the Market Journal website, you can find a link to more information about the Soybean Aphid Speed Scouting app. You'll also be able to learn more about insect pressures at next week's Soybean Management Field Days. For more information on those events, you can watch our interview with Keith Gluen from last week's episode.